Well, disaster response teams in various municipalities in the Western Cape have been put on high alert in anticipation of uh, the weather conditions. And for an update, uh, let's now welcome City Disaster Risk Management Spokesperson Sonica Latigan. Sonica, a very good afternoon to you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Look, we know that uh, some schools uh, have now uh, said to be closed uh, in the Overberg area due to inclement weather. Has there been any incident so far reported and which other other areas that could likely be affected uh, by this inclement weather? Good afternoon, Alicia. Yes, there's been incidents that has been reported um, as a result of wind damage and roofs that has been blown off, especially in our Kaya area. Kasa area, Somerset, our Somerset Mall has been um, evacuated and closed because of the roof sheets that has been blown off. The Methodist um, Primary School in Somerset has also sustained some wind damage. And also the driving license testing center in Somerset has also been closed until further notice. And then um, also um, wind damage in informal settlements like your local um, cottages in Donkerbos in Somerset also. In the Strand area and Delft, um, we also had reports of um, roofs that has been that has been blown off. Um, some trees has also been uprooted in many of our areas across the city, also the Somerset area, um, Cassa, Sea Point, Euphalippi area and um, North Pine area. And then um, across the city, some roads has also been closed due to, due to um, damages, um, especially on the Bay Powell Road that has been closed due to sand on the road. And then there's been a fire that has been reported in the Glen Cay Glen Cay area in the south peninsula where at least nine properties has been destroyed as a result of the fire and evacuations has also been done in the Fishhook main road area mm. then some power lines has also been destroyed yes, and our emergency okay. department is busy restoring all right these power lines all right and then sonica i mean we understand that uh, your disaster management teams are currently on high alert in the various parts talk to us about where you are stationed as well as some of the emergency plans that that you have initiated for this period yes our disaster um, operations center has been activated and currently they are sitting at our um, center in Kurud. Um, different services are also um, in the center where they are coordinating the um, response to this to this impact that has been received or has been reported. Um, these services are mainly our um, fire services, our human settlements and informal, um, informal settlement management departments, um, water and sanitation, our solid waste departments, parks and recreation are also there. So disaster management is coordinating the services according to the reports that we are receiving. We have disaster management officials across the city in all of the wards. So wherever incidents are reported from our disaster management colleagues, go and do assessments in those areas. Mm. So how do then the public, the general public, or those that are in distress, Sonica, uh, get, uh, or need uh, assistance, get hold of you? Um, as we understand, some areas are not accessible. And also, we're understanding that uh, ESCOM is also announcing that it's experiencing a major fall backlogs in parts of the Eastern Cape due to bad weather. Yes, so for any incidents um, that the residents in the city of Cape Town are experiencing, we urge them to call our public um, emergency communication centre. The numbers for that centre is 107 from a landline and 021 480 from a cell phone. And um, once those incidents has been reported, our disaster management teams will assess and um, also prioritize to which areas we have to send out our services departments. All right. And currently, are you able to uh, just basically give us any uh, precautionary measures that communities uh, can adhere to, to in order to minimize uh, some of the issues or, or troubles that they, they encounter due to inclement weather, Sonica? Yes, so we are expecting some heavy rains um, going into the night and into tomorrow. So we urge residents to have sandbags ready and also to um, to 
to dig trenches so that water can be diverted away from their homes and also just to fix um, loose gutters and fences around the premises and also look out for the neighbors around them just to see that um, there's not any loose items that that can be a uh, danger if the if we have if we do experience these strong gale force winds we also caution um drivers to steer clear of the roads if possible at all um, and if they stall in flood waters to get out and move to higher grounds and also um to switch off electricity um so yeah that that is some of the precautionary measures that we can um share with our with our residents we also ask them to go onto the city's website and onto the city's app to to see what we have put on the app in terms of precautionary measures all right, thank you so much for that update. Uh, that is Sonica Lattigan, the, uh, the DRM spokesperson, uh, talking to us about those precautionary measures that you need to adhere to as, of course, uh, inclement weather reports have been persistent in this weekend. Also, just not in the city of Cape Town, but throughout the country. So if you can, please exercise extreme caution.